Oh boy, here we go. Hi everyone, it's Kamadar. I'm sitting in the chair. The chair of bad news. That's just what I'm going to call this now. Every time I sit in this chair, something bad has happened. Also, as you can see, my house got vandalized. We'll have to talk about that later. But yeah, so I built my entire mega base. And recorded all of it in replay mod. 14 hours. 14 hours of building. And you want to know what happened to it? It's all corrupted. I this, this is the last time I ever use replay mod. I'm done with it. It has annoyed me to no end for the past year. Problem after problem after problem. I've lost so much footage from replay mod. So I will no longer be using it. But yeah. So, hooray! The build is done. I'm going to stick some fun B-roll here while I talk of me and, I guess, free cam around the base. Because that's about all I can do. We'll still go look at it in a minute. But wow, look at it. It's awesome. I'm sure there's fun B-roll here. I would be a lot more excited if, you know, replay mod would stop breaking all of my videos. I'm going to be moving to a different format. I'm going to find something else to record. Because replay mod, you're dead to me. So I originally wasn't also intending to make this video right now. I was actually going to wait a few months to make this video. But this is it. This is the end of my time here on Arcadio Season 2. For a few reasons. One of them is I want to go work on some other projects before the next season. Also, there's, there's no one on. There hasn't been anyone on for what feels like a month. It's towards the end of the year, people have wrapped up a lot of projects. There's not a lot of activity anymore. I don't feel the need or the drive to continue going. And I don't want to force myself to do stuff on the server that I don't like. So a lot of the next few months, honestly, I won't even be here on YouTube. Well, I will. I have one small project I'm going to work on here. But a lot of time I'm going to be on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Camadar. Yeah, this is, my, this is my Twitch plug. So starting next week, I'm going to start a full Vault Hunter series only on Twitch because, my God, that mod is so big, it is actually hard to make videos on because there is so much. So I'm just going to stream it. It's way easier. I do have another series I'm going to do here on YouTube, and it's also a modded series. I'm not going to spoil it, though, but it'll be fun. I promise. Um, cool. I got an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> what did I get? Couch potato. Sit for over an hour. Oh my gosh, I've been in this chair for so long. So long. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna call I'm gonna call this. This is the end of my season here on Arcadia. It's earlier than most people, but you know, I'm okay with that. So I figured we'll go around the world and go look at all the stuff that I did and kind of reminisce about the entire season and my thoughts on the whole thing because it was fun i really enjoyed it and i i'm honestly looking forward to season three. Oh, but i guess first we uh we need to get out of the chair if i can remember how to get uh, hello H hello oh no <laughs> it stuck me underneath <laughs> what a great start to the last video so yeah um, all of my windows are gone and someone left me some notes down here and I have no clue what it's about, but someone definitely, uh, is trolling me. Vengeance stage one. More to come. I won't be here for it, but good luck. Whatever happens to this base, that's how it's going on world download. Cause this is my last day on the server. Oh, I can't even get out of my door. I can't. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Oh, well, there's all my glass. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to fix the door. Hold on. Oh, goodness. There we go. Uh Sorry. <laughs> so I figured we're going to go start it's nighttime. It's fine. We're going to go start where the whole season began. Which, yes, was on this hill, but it was actually where my first base was. 
if you can even call it that. It was a hole in the ground. Literally, a hole in the ground. You know, it was my first time on a big SMP server, and I really didn't know what I was doing, so I was like, I'm just gonna go uh, throw myself in the hole and... Uh... Oh, okay, we're doing this. Okay. <laughs> this seems like a fitting, a fitting end. But yeah, here it is. Camdar's now vacant temporary base. God, I feel like I, I don't even remember how to play Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft in like, uh, I don't know, three weeks now? A bit unsatisfactory. Like, a lot. Too much. You know, we might as well sleep. But yeah, so this was my first base. I found the zombie spawner. And I was like, ooh, I'm just going to base here. And then we went down here. And down here, down here was the uh, the mine that I started, which I then eventually put a tunnel bore in, which then uh, blew up multiple times because the server lag. So wonderful, good times. Yeah, so we have our entire mine system down here. It is, it's so, it's so big. Also, I apologize for my voice today. I'm I'm very sick. So yeah, and then the tunnel system that just gets, it goes so far out, so far. The the mines are extensive. I probably spent thirty hours down here at least. I'm trying to think where we went to next after this. Oh, I built the shulker farm. I think that was the next thing. Well, no, I built the house. I built the house that was vandalized, <laughs> which we've seen a lot. Ooh, I also built this. This was. One of the first uh, XP farms on the server, which was the spider den. I found this uh, spider spawner under this mountain. And it really needed string and cobwebs, so I built this nice little thing down here for us to use. And we still have uh, the spider slayer of Arcadia. It is still here. No one stole it. Thank you. This was a fun little build I did. Oh, come on, rockets. We don't want to do this today. There we go. <laughs> the dime's the charm. <laughs> oh, there is some serious uh, server performance problems today. Yeah, you can see we built out our little small town and we all kind of moved here. And this was my, my house that I built. I guess we can go explore, well, most of it. <laughs> so this is the trophy room. Kind of like where I put everything that was special. Uh, at the end of my episode, my armors go in here. I got the music disc room, which... Uh, Still missing a disc. But that's because trial chambers came out and I haven't found it yet. So we got uh, my kitchen. I have my impromptu storage room that I said was temporary, which is still here. <laughs> and it has now taken over the ceiling. I'm just gonna, the shulker monsters live in here. It's living here for the whole season. And we have all the books. I am going to come categorize all the books in there. Uh, so when the server download comes out, everyone can come read them all. But these are all the original copies of every book I have written. And uh, may maybe maybe a few that I, I found. We, we don't talk about that. <laughs> anyway, this was my bedroom. And my bed, my stars on the ceiling, like I had as a kid. That was cool. It was a fun little... Uh... They even got the fish tank? Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Are they still in there? Yeah, there's still a few in there. Oh, they even got this door. This door used to be my bees. I had a bunch of beehives out here, and they all drowned in the river. That was fun. And we got up here. It was my little deck, which took months to figure out what I was going to do with. And I finally built this little uh, cherry tree blossom garden here. This is my zen garden. It's where I came to just chill out. And then I worked on that. This was the first Nova Galactic Court building. This was the Shulker farm, which is now decommissioned because the Shulkers keep dying for unknown reasons. But yeah, here it is in all of its glory. The massive Shulker farm inside of here. And then once they pretty much all died and I had nothing to use this building for, I came back here and made this massive moss farm, which is uh, still loaded with moss. This is like the greatest moss farm I've ever built. My God. My throat hurts today, guys. This is bad. I picked a horrible day to do this. Why is this here? I don't know. It's probably been there the whole season, though, and I haven't noticed, so it's staying there. And then we did this wonderful pathway recently on a live stream, which I really enjoyed doing. It Actually, it goes all the way to the ocean. 
for the next part, we're actually going to have to go through the nether because it's a long flight in the overworld. We're going to go look at the elytra course. And you can see here we have our nether tunnel. I pretty much made everything from this point that way. This was a, <laughs> a lot of work. Also, lava is a pain to work with and builds. My god. Okay, well, we gotta... <laughs> I accidentally clicked the sign while I was flying. The Skyward Citadel Elytra course. So this was like the first big thing I built on the server. A bunch of people wanted an Elytra course. I wanted an Elytra course because it was fun, so I built this one. And, uh, yeah, it turned out great. We had, we had quite a few people come out and play. We were going to do, like, a, a finale tournament, and I was going to combine all the three courses together, but... I don't know. It never happened, but that's fine. Dang, we see we have the maps of all the different courses set up here. If you want to see any of this stuff in more detail, you know, there's a whole playlist you can watch. <laughs> the death drop. <laughs> this killed me so many times, but it was so fun. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this project. This was a fun one. This was like total like impromptu. Just I took weird blocks I've never really used in builds, and I was like, I'm just gonna throw them all together and see what happens. Like the ceiling is made of ore for absolutely no reason other than the fact that I could, and I knew it would piss a lot of people off that I used diamond ore in the ceiling. So many diamonds, and it was so worth it. You know, I just realized we totally missed something at my base, but that's fine. You know, it was something that didn't happen until, I think, after this, anyway. We forgot to go look at the basement. So we're going to go take a look at that real quick. I have so much stuff everywhere that, like, I even have to think about where everything is that I built. Yeah, we have the whole basement. The hidden basement in the house. I'm pretty sure I put this door on wrong. There we go. That feels better. Yeah, and this whole basement was related to the lore that I made for the season, which was dealt with the Philosopher's Panacea to deal with the, uh, you know, the, the crying obsidian sickness that I had in my previous Let's Play world. But yeah, this has now changed to Nova Galactic Corp Research Lab number one. This was recent. This was part of something I was going to do, but I just decided I'm not going to do it anymore. But yeah, so here's the basement I made with all the science equipment and stuff. And, oh man, I gotta come back and replace these. I took these for the the stat poker machine. All right, I guess I'm gonna go farm some, uh, some netherite later. I gotta replace those before the world download. But yeah, so then we had like the observation chamber for my blast proof obsidian chamber. And then the basement to the basement. Someone actually made this for me. It was like a total surprise. Uh, this was a T-Man. He came down here and made this thing for me. This thing was awesome. I did take out the, uh, the monster after a while that was in the tube. So you have to go back on the older videos to see what it looked like. But it was, it was really cool. But yeah, I turned this into like a potion brewing area down here. So this is where I've been brewing all my potions for the whole season. And there's still, there's still some Easter eggs hidden around in the house that I haven't even shared on camera. Like, those are just here for people that do the world download and they want to just explore. Is it nighttime? It is nighttime. We must sleep again. I feel like I'm always sleeping. <laughs> Minecraft days need to be longer. I think next on our journey is the shopping district. I have three builds in the shopping district, and I only ever intended to make one. I was just going to make one build. Like, I didn't want to build a whole bunch of different shops in the beginning. But then, like, a few months ago, I was like, eh, I'm going to build another one. And then, like, a month ago, I'm like, eh, I'm going to build another one. And so this was the first one I built. This was the Phantom Marauder. This is actually a really old build I had from a really long time ago. Like, really long time ago. I recycled it. This is like 2014 build that I had laying around on one of my old save files. And I just kind of repurposed it and changed a bunch of the blocks out. 
But yeah, this is where I sold everything. I, this was kind of like my general store. I had shulkers galore in here. And then down here I had even more. This was like the random stock of just whatever I had. I just threw around. And then if we go around here, you can see the gold trailing you down to the bottom deck where I held all of the treasure, which is all the gold. I have a gold obsession if you uh, haven't figured that out. For, for most of the season, I was eating golden apples. And frankly, I'm still going to continue doing that. And then later in the season, I built this. This was the Deep Dig Depot. This was like my mining shop, which actually did really good. This shop made me quite a few diamonds. And nowhere near as much as the Shulker shop, though. I, I have so many. There's still a couple of picks in here because I uh, restocked that not too long ago. But yeah, this thing goes all the way down. There's no reason to go all the way down there. There's there's nothing down there that I know of. I didn't put it down there if there is. And then we had our server shop up here where I helped people mine ores if they needed help. It was a fun project. And this, this was fun to figure out how to do. Because I took this from a reference photo. Which, you have to go back in the video and find it. I don't even know if I have the photo anymore. But I found this reference photo online of a... Uh, of a building in Amsterdam and it had this weird like tile texture and I was like how can I do this so I took glazed terracotta and put a skulk over it and that was it it looks awesome besides the fact I, I can't put it there that still annoys me and then recently we made this one <laughs> the controversial exotic meat shop uh, this build caused some controversy on the server but I'll leave it at that, because it's not totally public. But yeah, so this was a shop I made. Just, <laughs> this is kind of a fun thing, because I was joking about it all season of, man, I really want sniffer steaks, because that's when the, we played when the sniffers came out. So I made them, sniffer steaks. And then we got camel chops, panda patties, alley wings, polar bear ribs, axolotl fillets but yeah this was just a really fun build i really enjoyed doing this one and uh there's there's nothing up there it's just empty also in the middle of all this i had my big lore series going on and that mostly took place under my base we can go look at that real quick it should still be there um, this might be the best way to get there. I don't even know. Nope. Definitely not. Well, I mean, it is, but... Oh, I don't even have an ender chest on me. That's not good. Well, we're just gonna have to be careful. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this was the... The living obsidian... Crying obsidian heart. And... It's dead now. It, this wasn't a fun thing to do with a few other people on the server. I, I can't. I can't see anything. Why can't I see? Oh, right. I turned down my lighting. No. No, my lighting's at full. I don't know. Just hard to see. Here we go. <laughs> but yeah, so this was a, a living crying obsidian heart that I made. It's now dead. Uh, we had to basically destroy it. It was, it was a fun little... Thing we did on the server i did it with corn and a few other people but yeah i had crying obsidian sprawled all over this cave like tentacles like all the way up into corn's house over there it, it was it was a blast i loved it i'm not sure i'm probably not going to do any more lore next season i think next season i just want to focus on uh on playing i i have two different ideas and i don't know which one i'm doing yet i might end up just putting a poll out and letting you guys decide thinking about making a game like a really big game for the season or i'm just gonna have fun and just hang out with people and do whatever i need an ender chest because as you can see uh i die often is this one nope is it i don't totems we're just gonna take some extras <laughs> i might need them 
So I keep hitting the wrong button to get to my inventory. <laughs> I keep hitting tab. It's not tab, it's E. I've been playing Satisfactory too long. Man, I guess I should have got some rockets while I was in there. It's fine. I'm trying to think what else we did. Ooh, map world. We're gonna need more rockets. Uh, enter chest. Yeah, we can go look at map world. <laughs> it's pretty far out there. So I found this spot out in the ocean, really, really far away. So we could build all of our uh, maps that we wanted on the server. We built quite a few. There was uh, some other ones I was gonna build for people. We decided that it just wasn't working out. So we decided not to build them. But yeah, I, I built quite a few. Is, did I, I missed it. How did I miss it? It's like, it's, oh, it's right there. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I don't even know how many maps we built. Three or four? I don't know. It was worth it. I enjoyed it. It was the first time I've done like uh, big pixel art maps. So it was a fun challenge to do. It was pretty early in the season too when I started this. Yeah, this is map world. As you can see, uh, Someone built that one. That one is definitely not me. I I have not done the valley ones yet. But yeah, I made this all white one so I could use it like a whiteboard. And then I made the computer screen for the containment breach. One for the lore. Again, Nova Galactic Corp. Which may make a return in season three because I don't feel like it uh, ended the way I wanted it to. Who knows? I don't know. Season three is a ways away. That's not where I wanted, but here's a, here's a mine <laughs> that I made because I needed material. I, I forgot, there's a, there's a build far way over in the forest over here, hopefully. I haven't checked it since we did the purge for the chunks, but it should still be here. There it is, the wizard tower. So I made this tower out here, which Corn followed for some lore and found the enchanted crystals that I needed for uh, for lore purposes. So it's just this tower out here that she climbed and got all of the crystals from. And yep, door's still here. Still functions. There's nothing up there anymore. I guess there's only one build left, which I saved to the end. And that's the most recent one. Oh, <laughs> well, that's not good, man. I have not died like that in uh, quite a while. I'm going to take the gold boots. I'm going to need them. I don't even have a way to break this. Uh, rockets. Oh, I was not expecting. I was not paying attention. It's, that's not even the right one, is it? No, it's not. Okay, <laughs> let's go find my stuff. Yeah, I totally wasn't paying attention. I was uh, just kind of, I zoned out there for a second. I think we might just uh, climb this and go find everything. Okay, it's, ooh, what is that? No, it's just an XP orb, I don't care about that. Yeah, it's it's still all here. You get everything, pants, helmet, OG boots. Things of glory. Where's my sword? There it is. Sword. Food. Torches. Cool. I think we got it all. If we didn't, well, it's gone forever. All right. Back to where we was going. Where we was going. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I keep hitting the ceiling. It's just a bad day. <laughs> uh, whoosh. Oh. Hello. I almost forgot the most crucial build I made on the whole server. Which uh, should be this way somewhere. There it is. The gold farm. My God, I spent so much time here. So much. I have kid a lot here. This is the greatest source of XP ever. Is this farm. I will never not build this farm on a server. And then uh, you can see recently I shredded it and 
made a really jank uh, system with the auto crafters. I, I didn't know how they worked when they came out. I didn't pay attention. Yeah, and uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. But yeah, a lot of time was spent here. A lot of AFK sessions overnight to make a lot of gold. You know, I was going to go through my portal, but I think it's more fun if we uh, actually go the intended way for the base. And go see it from the, the front. So this was the pain of my existence, but it was so fun to make. So this is the entrance to Nova Galactic Corp. See, I made a little statue of myself out here. I literally parted the ocean with this build. So this is a massive trench way. It goes all the way down to 33, why, yeah, Y33. And it just cuts through the ocean, like no joke. Straight through. This was fun to figure out how to do, and also just a pain. Such a pain. I will never do this again. <laughs> but here it is. Nova Galactic Corp. The finish building. Well, sort of. I didn't get to do any of the detailing on it. But it is done, and the beacons are not lit. Why are the beacons not lit? There we go. The beacons are lit now. This build, besides replay mod, this build was actually not that bad. It was just place a lot of blocks and it goes straight to max build height. Like, like this is it. That's it, that's build height right there. I left one single block. I, I, I don't have another block to prove it, but you know, that's how it is. <laughs> My massive array of beacons down there. Yeah, this this was a fun build. Ugh. In all of its glory. I had plans for these. I was going to make these into like little micro farms. That were going to like go underneath and stuff. And then I have this. So I have all of this pre-built on my test server. Like, it's all done. I was going to do it in here but I, I just, I don't have the motivation to continue on the server right now. I wanna do some other stuff. But yeah, so some stats for this, 186,000 blocks for just this build. Uh, 14 shulkers of obsidian, a lot of obsidian. It looks so cool though. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go into the test world. I'm gonna show you guys what the inside looks like. All right, welcome to my test world. This is where I built everything. So as you can see, same base. We have an entrance, it's auto, and here it is. Here's the build that I didn't finish. I was gonna make this like white quartz laboratory style corporate building with like stairways everywhere to just offices and stuff. I had a whole thing planned for this. Yeah, I had a whole thing planned for this, but just uh, isn't working out. I even made this awesome elevator. I stole this from Azumavoid because he has this in his base. The water stream with the honey blocks. I'm totally going to use this next season. This is so cool. And we come up here and these are like the corporate office headquarters that I was going to have up here, which is two floors. Because uh, there's a floor here and then there's a floor here. Actually, I can just jump into free cam. This whole empty space, I had no clue what to do with. And then if we go up even further in Freeham, we can see all of these. I was gonna sell these as like apartments, like uh, like penthouses. These are part of the gold floors. And I think there was like nine or 10 of these. There's quite a few. And then I had some empty space up here, which I was gonna put more farms in. And then uh, to get down, it's just, you, you jump down and hope you don't hit one of the edges and just land in the snow block. Yeah, lighting in the floor. We got uh, nothing back here except my test build pallet. This was gonna, I was gonna make all my storage areas in these corners. But yeah, this this was the build. This was gonna be fun. It has the new tough blocks in it and everything. Tough goes so good with quartz. My God, <laughs> it's so nice. I was not sure how it was gonna look when I started. I tried like seven or eight block combos and i found this tough and i was like oh oh this works this works so good 
So yeah, this was the this was the build that was, you know, gonna be the end. This awesome build, and now we're back, and it's nighttime, and we sleep. We got one more place to go look at, because frankly, I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I forgot. I spent so much time working on this. Days upon days. The gambling den. Oh, it looks so good from back here. I'm going to put some awesome... Well, you, you guys have already seen the awesome B-roll. Yeah, so I made the gambling den over here. Yeah. Uh, the Golem Gambit Lounge. With Iron Capo. And it, I, don't, I don't have a diamond to open the door. So, uh... We'll go in the other way. <laughs> this is the back door. Okay, you would normally come in here, and this is the gambling lounge. You can see uh, the barkeep. So this is where I took a bunch of items that I found and uh, <clears throat> acquired <laughs> during the time on the server, and I shoved them all in here. They're all like cursed and stolen items. But yeah, here we have the uh, stat poker machine, which I made a whole redstone video about, which was this thing. I'm gonna have to jump into cheaty free cam to see this. But yeah, this is the uh, the random stat poker machine that I built. This thing was awesome. So fun, but man, it's so complicated. This was like two days of work to figure out how to get this thing working. Uh, sadly, I got this thing built and there's been no one on the server to play with. So big, big sads. I was really hoping we could uh, could do this. Like, every single item in the game is in here. Every single item. Besides the dragon egg. Because, you know, there's only one. But every single item in the game is in here. It is crazy. All the stats are in there in books. It's insanity. So your items come here. And you can, like... If you get a certain items, like, say you get a cobblestone you can pick one of these like so you can find what stat you want to use we got random blinds in here you can choose from so yeah this this was a this was a long project <laughs> and then uh it pops you right back up here into the store which was very intentional market manipulation gotta drag your customers through your store it's just like at the end of an amusement park get off the ride funnel them into the store but yeah, that's it. I'm pretty sure that was everything. I might have missed something, you know, but that's fine. That's how it goes sometimes. You just, <laughs> you build so much stuff on a server, you can't even remember where you built it all anymore. But yeah, like I said, this is, uh, this is where everything's going. Hopefully this works. Can you put electro wings on these? Yes. A sword. A pick. There you go. I'm not gonna put chest plate on there because that's just this is what I wore for the majority of the seasons. That's what's going on there. I'm also gonna em empty my uh, ender chest and leave everything out, you know, for world download reasons, so people can come look at it, come see all the stuff that I got. Yeah, no, we're doing a total inventory empty. Rockets are going away. Food. I guess I don't. I don't need that. In there. Oh, it's a. It's a bittersweet moment. Torches can go in there. I just. It's fine. So yeah, even though my house is vandalized, this is how it's staying. So we might as well end the same way we started today, in the chair, the chair of doom. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me on the last episode of Arcadia. Thank you for joining me for the whole season. Thank you for being here. I started with basically no subscribers. We're a little over 400 at this point. So thank you to the hundreds of people who have continued watching and supporting me through the past year and a half out here on Arcadia SMP. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.